Hi TET viewers, welcome to another special interview. I am your host Suyo and I have a very special guest with me today to tell you a little bit about him. He is a filmmaker, he's a screenplay writer, he's an actor, director, a comedian. Wow, I'm losing breath here seeing all the things that he does. Um, he is uh, Mr. Ken Scott, how are you? I'm great. Thank you very much. Welcome to TET. Thank you for having me. No problem. So, um, Mr. Ken Scott, tell us a little bit about yourself because I'm going to get into the details of everything that you do and that you're doing. Mm. Um, but uh, let's just start about your introduction. Mm. Uh, I'm a director. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from Quebec. Uh, I started as a screenwriter. Uh, first of all, I did a few uh, features as a screenwriter. Okay. Uh, and then I. Uh, a few years ago, I've become a, a director, so uh, write and direct. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I made a few movies in Quebec. Okay. And in the last few years, I've been working uh, in English uh, f features. Okay. So you've been doing like French movies and things I, like I, that? I started with uh, French movies, okay. and lately I've been working at my two latest movies were actually. Uh, uh, studio movies in the United States, okay. uh, Delivery Man and uh, Unfinished Business. Yes. And uh, my latest project is called The Extraordinary Journey of the Fakir. Right, and which I uh, like, he's one of my favorite actors, Danos. Yes. So um, before we go deep into the movie, um, tell us how you got in touch with Danos. Like, why did you pick him specifically? Uh, this uh, project, it's the adaptation of a book that was called uh, The Extraordinary Journey of the Fakir Who Got Caught in an Ikea Wardrobe. Okay. <laughs> and so it's a best-selling novel uh, written by Romain Poirtelas. Okay. And uh, so the producers uh, contacted me and asking me if I would be interested in directing and maybe working on the script with them okay. to, to adapt the book. And they, at that moment, uh, Danush was already interested in the project and they were talking with him. Mm -hmm. So I worked on a, a, a draft with, with uh, the writers and uh, then I flew to India mm -hmm. for the very first time in my life. Okay. And uh, I went to Chennai and I, I met with Danush. Yeah. And so we, we talked about the character, we, start, we, we talked about the storyline, mm -hmm. we talked about my vision of what I, I felt the movie should be, mm -hmm. and uh, right away we, we hit it off. Right. And uh, it, it all started like that. How was your connection with Danush like um, in terms of like uh, while you guys were filming? Mm. Well, Danush is, uh, is such a instinctive actor. Uh, he, the way he gets into a scene right away, he understands you know, what the scene I is about. Uh, and, and so it was interesting to work with him because since he's very instinctive, he, he gets to where he wants to be uh, quickly. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, from there, I, I, after, after the actor that I'm working with gets to where he, he's happy, mm -hmm. I, I always like to continue working okay. and uh, do a few more takes and Push explore. Push a little bit more. Well, <laughs> explore a bit more to see you know, where else uh, we can go. So it, that's pretty much how we worked on a, on a daily basis. Okay, and the, looking at the poster, it looks really interesting. It mm -hmm. looks like it's a little funny. Um, uh, so, and you're a comedian, so you probably yes. put in your uh, touch in there as well. Well, in <laughs> in in the novel, there yeah. was already lots what, of comedy. comedy? Okay. Uh, the book there was a lot of comedy, a lot of heart, and so. Uh, Obviously, there still needs to be some work, you know, when you take a novel and you want to bring it into a screenplay. Right. So I worked with, with the author and with uh, one of the producers, Luc mm -hmm. Bossy. Uh, so we, we tied it all together where it, be, it became the story of a, a young, uh, young boy in a small, small neighborhood mm -hmm. of Mumbai that uh, knows nothing about the rest of the world. He just knows his small his neighbor okay. hood. And then he, as he grows older, he discovers the rest of Mumbai. And then uh, at the death of his, um, at the death of his mother, mm -hmm. he, he goes off and he travels across Europe in a journey of self-discovery. Okay. But the, the, the character is very uh, unique. Okay. Uh, 
to give you an example, he, when he's very young and when he knows nothing else than his small neighborhood, mm -hmm. one day as he's at the doctor's office, he discovers a catalog okay. of Ikea. Okay. And for him, since he only knows his small neighborhood mm -hmm. of Mumbai, he only knows India, right. for him, all these furniture, it's so <laughs> exotic for him, okay. all these straight lines and all that. So yeah. he becomes obsessed with Ikea. Oh, he's wow. always looking at the <laughs> Ikea like, catalogs. <laughs> Ikea catalogs. He's fascinated okay. uh, by Ikea and he dreams about Ikea. Right. And so uh, when he sets off on this journey, because mm -hmm. he goes to, uh, the journey brings him to all different countries. He's go, he goes to France, he goes to England, Italy, Spain, right. uh, Libya. Uh, but the first country he goes to is, is France. And when he gets there, yeah. uh, you know, he, he, he comes to the airport, he's in Paris, he has so many choices, you know, it's his first time in Europe. So he could go visit the Eiffel Tower, he mm -hmm. could go visit Les Champs Elysees, he could go to the Louvre, but he chooses to go to Ikea. Okay. <laughs> and that's where everything goes wrong. Okay. Uh, uh, but in a very funny way. Right. So, uh, that's pretty much the, the premise of the whole story. And you've taken this in different languages. Um, the, the movie, it's, it's, uh, it's a fun production because mm -hmm. it's actually, uh, so Danush is the main character. Right. He's there pretty much in all the, the scenes. scenes. But then since he's on this journey where mm -hmm. he goes to different countries, we, we, we have the pleasure to have great, great actors from all these different countries. Mm -hmm. We have Birinis Bejo, Erin Moriarty, uh, Barca Dabdi, uh, that all represent a different culture. So okay. it's really Danush's character mm -hmm. that comes into contact with all these different cultures. Okay. Uh, so it's an international production and uh, so it, it has been sold in 160, more than 160 countries throughout wow. the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, now on the 21st of June, mm -hmm. it's coming out in India, okay. Canada, the United States, nice. UK, Malaysia. Wow. So uh, simultaneously, we have all these different uh, countries that are releasing the movie. Mm -hmm. So that's very exciting. But it, it already has uh, begun. It has been coming out uh, in different countries already. Okay, okay. And how is the feedback that you're getting so uh, far? Well, the feedback is great mm -hmm. because uh, the, the, obviously there's some countries where uh, Danush is very, very well known. Well known, yes. And, you know, he's made 30 movies, he's a huge star. And there's other countries where he's, he's n not known. Right. But people discover this great actor. Nice. So it, the, the reactions are different. In some countries, people are just happy to, to, to see him. To see him. And <laughs> yeah. in other countries, people are just surprised to, to be discovering this fabulous actor. Right. So are you going to be working with Anish in the future? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. He's, he's, you know, he's a great, great pleasure to work with. Yeah. And, uh, and so we, we, we hit it off and uh, it it was just a great project. Right. What are um, your next projects? Like, what do? What are your goals for yourself? Uh, well, in the last year, so we put this uh, movie together. Mm -hmm. We did all of the post production, and since then, I've been uh, writing on different projects. And I, uh, I have one full feature that's pretty much ready. It, it's in French. Okay. Uh, it's a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just finished another script, and that, that's in English. So uh, we'll see what the next project becomes. I don't have <laughs> uh, a next project in, uh, in India, okay. but uh, I would love to have I'm sure some. after this movie gets released, you'll be getting a lot of calls. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> yes. And um, tell us, I know you won an award mm -hmm. um, for one of your movies, so tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, um, for this movie, mm -hmm. we've won uh, uh, some uh, awards, uh, and one of the oh. awards that is, is actually uh, uh, interesting is we won the Audience Award okay. in the Barcelona Film Festival, wow. and uh, that's a nice award because mm -hmm. you know it's the audience that uh, appreciates the movie. So 
uh, that was nice. And the movie just has been released in Spain, so it was you know a great way to introduce the movie into uh, uh, into a new market. Right. So that was that was really nice. And we won a few other awards. So it's it, it's fun to have a movie. I'm you know I'm a filmmaker. I'm a storyteller. Mm -hmm. I'm, I like telling stories to people, right. and, and with this project, it's it's fabulous because it's it's very original. Okay. Uh, we have this great character from India. Mm -hmm. That's the main character, with Danush, who's you know just amazing. Yeah. And uh, and it has an international release, so it, it's not. Uh, it's fairly rare that you have a chance to do this uh, movie that's that's so original mm -hmm. that has a worldwide release. Usually, right. that type of release is, you know, an American movie. That, but this one, it's it's an international movie. Right. But uh, so it's a it's a true pleasure getting this story out there mm -hmm. and uh, having so many different countries to see how they react to the story. It's right. you know, it's a comedy. Mm -hmm. But it, it actually uh, it, it has a, a theme to it, which is uh, immigration. Okay. It's you know there's a lot of debate, heated debate in you know different countries here in North America or in Europe uh, a lot about immigration, mm -hmm. and so in this movie we we touch upon that theme, mm -hmm. but not in a political way or not in a preachy way. Uh, in a very it, in a very simple way, uh, I mean the movie is somewhat of a fable, okay. you know. So a fable it says important things, but in a, in a very simple way. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think what people will be able to take away mm -hmm. from the movie is that you know immigrants. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if we look at immigrants simply as another version of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I think the world is going to be a better place. That's awesome, yeah. So it's a comedy, mm -hmm. it's light, but I think people are going to be able to take away that message. That's a great message, that's a great message. And because it's going to be released in different places, where mm -hmm. are you going to be for the release? <laughs> I'm, I'm everywhere. I, I just, right now, uh, a few hours ago, got off the plane that's from... Uh, that's amazing. Yes. You are supposed to be um, relaxing, but you're here with us. So I'm thank here with you, you uh, because uh, it, it's an important movie. Exactly, so, it's important and, to you. And yeah. so uh, I, I want a lot of people to go out and, and see the movie because right. uh, because it's a great story, because it's funny, because it's entertaining, because right. it's different, because we believe in in this story. So yeah. hopefully, people will will go out and see it. And so. Uh, a few uh, hours ago, I was on a plane coming back. We had the release of the trailer in Mumbai. Tell us about that. Well, it, it was, I, I mean, <laughs> it was amazing. It was your first time in... Um, well, it, it was my first time re releasing a trailer in uh, Mumbai. Okay. Because we shot the, the movie, oh, we, right. we, we shot uh, 11 days in Mumbai. Okay. Uh, we also shot in France. We shot in Italy. We we shot in Belgium. Uh, so it, I guess that was one of the uh, challenges of the movie is to be in so many different, different countries. Places, yeah. But that's what makes a movie. It's it's visually we're telling a story. Mm -hmm. We're we're it's a journey. Yeah. So we had to be in all these different places. What was your most memorable experience uh, from this movie? Uh, the most memorable, we, we had lots of great moments. Okay. Uh, we were in different different countries with different actors mm -hmm. all the time. Great actors, I had a great choice of actors yeah. uh, to pinpoint one moment. Uh, I, there's an actor, there's a French actor called uh, Gérard Junio, okay. which is a huge, huge star in in France. Okay. So he was very kind to come on board because he had just a few days of shooting. You know, he doesn't need this movie. <laughs> He's a huge star. 
uh, you know, it doesn't need to come and play a small part in any type of movie. And he just came on board because he believed in the movie. Nice. And so to see Gérard, who's so French, he's, he's like, you, you would you ask someone, draw me a French character, and that's Gérard Junior. You know, he's so French. And to see him yeah. interact with Danouche, right. That was just a great moment. That's amazing. Yes. That's amazing. How did you, um, how did you get him on board? I, I, he, I guess he he likes my work, yeah. and uh, he he also f uh, found that it was a challenge to shoot a movie in English. So he was oh, okay. uh, that was because he's made he has made like uh, over a hundred movies in French. Right. But he had never shot a movie in English, so okay. <laughs> he, he was. <laughs> at the same time, he was very uh, excited to okay. do that, but sometimes a bit frustrated because he 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 wasn't as uh, how would I say he he wasn't as fluent right, right. Uh, as when he speaks in in, in French. So. Yeah. Uh, but we had a great time. Yeah, because that's a, a challenge actor. for him. So as an actor, yes. you want to take up on that challenge as well, absolutely. right? Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. So um, what else can we expect from you in the near future? Um, more comedies. Okay. Is that like your like your main, um, that's you want to be known as? Or? That, that's the world that I come from. I, I started my career as a comedian doing mm -hmm. sketch comedy and doing a bit of stand-up. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, but I always knew that I, I wanted to work in film. But so that but that was really what got me going, mm -hmm. making comedies and making people laugh. And you know, there's nothing better than to make someone laugh, right. to entertain. Awesome. And when you get to entertain and make people laugh, and you actually have something to say, like mm -hmm. in this movie where we're talking about immigrants, mm -hmm. and at the same time it's light. That's the type of movies. That's the type of stories, because you're you're actually changing the world. I mean, people watch movies all the time. Mm -hmm. If you want to get people to change their mentalities, to get them thinking differently, or just to get them thinking, mm -hmm. uh, tell a good story. Right. You know, even more than politics. Uh, you know, to make a, a difference in mm -hmm. society. It's, it's, I, I think making movies is a great way to, to communicate something to, to people. So, uh, you know, hope it, hopefully, you, you kind of sugarcoat it with comedy. Mm -hmm. So people right. want to have it. That's true, yes. And it, it's entertainment. <laughs> right. And yet behind all of that, there's, <laughs> there's, there's a, a message. message. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, that's the type of movie I like. Right, so you don't want to tell them that this is what you think, but you kind of like indirectly yeah, say indirectly, it. indirectly, <laughs> and then they, you know, they come out of the movie, they have been entertained, they have laughed. Right. But they're not just talking about the popcorn was good. They're, they're going to talk about the movie, the movie and yes. what, what was said. Right. So are you going to see um, the crew again? Well, I, I, I saw, you know, you coming off the plane, here, right? uh, with <laughs> most of the actors from India were, were there, okay. and, and so we were together there. And I don't know, that's what's uh, a bit heartbreaking is when you, you, you shoot a movie, it's so much energy with yeah. some, you know, that you share with the actors, with the crew, mm -hmm. and it's very, very intense. It's long hours and it's a lot of emotion. Mm -hmm. And then you never see each other I know. again. <laughs> well, hopefully you, you keep in contact with them. And yes, we have to. <laughs> but yeah. but uh, all the best um, uh, for the movie. Uh, I'm so excited to see it. It looks amazing. I love Danush and yes. uh, I'm a fan of your work. So thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ken, for being here. And uh, good luck with the movie. I thank hope you. Uh, everything, your vision comes to life and your message comes across. Great. So great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's interview. Definitely go see the movie. It's getting released on June 21st. It's coming out in three different languages, English, Tamil, and in French. Um, so uh, I had a great interview with uh, Mr. Ken today, and he told us all these information about this amazing crew and this um, beautiful comedy story. Um, so make sure you guys get your tickets. Again, it's releasing on June 21st. Go watch the movie and support the team. I'll see you guys next time on another special interview. It's me, Suyo, signing off. Bye.